preview. Hey, what's up guys? Joel with joelstalyfitness.com and it is hotter than hell in here today. So let's make it a quick video. Uh, me and Champ are going to beeline it to the lake afterwards to go cool down. Guys, today I want to talk about macronutrients, aka the proteins, carbs, and fats that make up your everyday diet. Now, as I've said at least a hundred times by now, and you're probably getting sick of hearing, in order to lose weight, you need to eat in a caloric deficit. So does that mean if your daily maintenance calories are set at 2,000, that you can eat 1,700 calories worth of ice cream, cheeseburgers, fries, and candy and still lose weight? As a matter of fact, yes you can. And it's probably the best way to having no energy, to having suboptimal health, and achieving that skinny fat appearance that nobody wants. However, if your objective is to look better, feel better, and obtain that lean muscular physique that you're working so hard for in the gym, you need to pay attention to your macronutrients. I like to think of my daily caloric allowance in terms of like a paycheck. And like a paycheck, once I get paid, I don't take the money, run out, buy a bunch of cool clothes, go party and go on vacation with it. I have to pay my bills and then whatever's left is what I can spend on whatever I want. Well macronutrients are kind of like the bills of your caloric allowance. Every day you get a certain number of calories. Now a certain number of these calories need to go towards protein to fuel muscle growth, to rebuild damaged muscle cells. Um, a certain amount of these calories need to go towards healthy fats in order to promote healthy hormone regulation. And if you consume carbs, a certain amount of these calories should go towards carbs to refill glycogen stores, fuel your workouts, and overall provide a good source of energy. Now, for protein, I generally recommend one gram per pound of body weight. If you're obese, I recommend shooting for one gram per pound of lean body weight. Healthy fats should make up 20 to 30% of your diet every day, bare minimum, and the rest can be spent on carbs or a healthy combination of more uh, proteins and fats. It's really that easy. If you need help learning how to track your calories and track your macros, let me know. This is one of those things that you really can't get by not doing. I feel like getting in shape isn't as complicated as some people make it. There's a few set of rules that you do need to follow and macronutrients is one of those rules. If you're not getting adequate protein and fats, you might be spinning your wheels. So if you would like to see a video on how to track these, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, you can take it a step further. Shoot me an email at joel at joelstaleyfitness.com. I'd love to help you out. Either way, we'll see you guys next week. Tim, let's go, buddy. We're going to the lake. All right, bye, guys.